Hi guys, welcome back. It's Cindy Courtney, your independent Sensi consultant, and today I'm share I'm here with you on the last day of 2015 to share my Sensi goals for 2016 and how I am going about to keep those goals um, in the forefront of my mind and where I can see them and think about them often, so that I work hard to make sure that I obtain those goals. In years past, I've simply took a whiteout board and wrote down on my whiteout board all my goals for the year, and then as I accomplished them, I would erase them off the board. And this year, I thought I would try to do something else. I did some research into um, vision boards and goal boards, and I've watched some other awesome Sensi consultants and superstar directors with their ideas of how to do vision boards and how important vision boards are. And so I came up with it's not my idea, but what would work best for me with the supplies I already had at hand. And it honestly was something I had done before with my kids where we made goals for what we wanted to do in the summer. And then, um, so it, it came, the supplies came from that. So I'm going to share with you how my goals and how I am going to display them for myself so that I um, obtain my goals. And what I made was a goal bucket. Like I said before, I did this with my kids one summer where we wrote down what we wanted to do in the summer and then on each clothes pin, we wrote one of those things and then as we did it, we put it in the bucket. So they, one, they would see that they do do a lot of things throughout the summer and two, it would give me ideas of what we should do in the summer that they like to do. So but, uh, I thought that would be great for this, um, for Sensi and I know other Sensi consultants have done this, like I said before. But what I simply did was I took purple construction paper and I cut them up into little squares and wrote my goals on them. And then on the bottom, I put some Scentsy washi tape and then I hot glued them to a clothespin so that they can clip onto the edge of my bucket. And I made enough to go all the way around my bucket. And as I was thinking about making this video, I actually thought of another goal that I could make for this bucket also. Um, so I'm just going to share some of my goals with you, give you an idea of what goals you could make for yourself with Scentsy. Because honestly, when I first started Scentsy, it was more for a hobby to get things for free and half price and just to try and see um, how I would do at it. And I've done come so far with Scentsy. I've learned so much. I've grown as a person and as a businesswoman. And I've just love the company the more I learn about it and the people that own the company and so my point is with Sensi I can go far and if I make goals then it's easier to know what to reach for and what to do they say people who make goals um, are more successful because they reach for those goals so here's my bucket the, this bucket I think I got at Target but they have them everywhere the dollar store all over the place um, and it was green for one of the Scentsy colors which I thought was perfect and then I just added some extra Scentsy washi tape on the bottom so people know this is my Scentsy bucket and I'm gonna keep this on my desk um, so that I can keep and look at it um, daily and remind myself of which goals I should be working on and some of these goals go together like if I do one goal I'm probably going to accomplish the other goal which is awesome um, but I love it and then as I accomplish my goals I can just put them in my bucket and then at the end of the year I can go back through and see all the goals I have accomplished how far I've come and it's a visual because I'm a visual learner to help me with that so just to go over my goals like I said uh, this first one right here is participate in three vendor events each catalog season I've done a couple of vendor events um, last year I did I think I did two and that's not very much and one of the reasons is because I waited too long to look into them I need to probably start looking into the ones for spring and summer now and then in the spring and summer be looking for the Christmas ones because the vendor events I did participate in I got new customers new um, people who wanted to have parties new um, info to add to my um, new we monthly newsletter and it was just it was successful for the amount of money I paid I felt like it was really worth it maybe not the day that I did it but then eventually months later those customers bought for me so it was a way for me to meet new customers so I definitely want to participate in more vendor events so I put three a catalog season so that gives me three to do every six months which I think I can do if I work hard and look for those then next I have a 10 Sensi reunion I didn't attend the Sensi reunion last year when it was in Las Vegas, but I did attend when it was in St. Louis. It was the first and only reunion actually I've gone to, but it was so inspiring and awesome. I learned a lot. I liked being around my Sensi sisters and brothers. It was fun learning uh, different ways to sell Sensi and to uh, learn more about the company and the product, and I just came away from that really motivated to work my business and excited about what Sensi had to offer. So I definitely want to do that th again. 
And then my next one is recruit five people in one month. I know that recruiting people is going to be the best way to grow my business. And the most people that I've recruited in a month was two people. So I thought I'd do a little bit more than double that and try to get five people in one month. And then this one is make four Scentsy videos a month. I found that my Scentsy videos are really helpful for my downline and for myself also to be able to say, hey, watch this video if I'm too busy at a certain time to train them how to do something. And so I plan on making more videos, at least one a week, um, and then hopefully we'll get more recruits and more customers and I'll be able to share my love for Scentsy um, through YouTube and videos. And then next I have doubled my clientele. I always have this as one of my goals every year and I've always accomplished it. So I thought I would continue on with this one because it's a good goal to have, um, especially since I've doubled my clientele each year. Um, if I double it again, I'll have a lot, lot more customers. Then I have earn a four figure paycheck. I've never earned over a thousand dollars with Sensi, a thousand or over with Sensi. Uh, it's been more of a hobby and then part time really last year for me and I really want it to be more of a full time job for me and for me to be able to make some more money so I have that on there and then I have promote to director right now I am a star consultant I have a team of six right now and um, I, I want to grow and become a director I know at least by June hopefully I can be a director so this isn't really by the end of the year this is more for June I want to be a director um, and then I have sell $2,000 in PRV in one month I've gotten really close to this goal, but I've never actually hit it, and I want to be able to get the 30% off the 2,000 instead of 25%, so I really want to try and make this happen this year a couple of times, not just once, but a couple of times. And then I have have a team of 20. Like I said before, I have a team of six right now, and I really want to grow my team and be a leader and help other people um, sell Sensi. so I want to grow my team by, the, by December to be a team of 20. And then my other goal that I thought of that I don't have on here is to earn an incentive trip. Sensi offers twice a year two times that you can earn an incentive trip through selling PRV and through recruiting people. I'm currently working on the one for Nashville so I could go to reunion and I'm really, really close to earning it and I hope I can. So I really need to make a clip for that too to earn an incentive trip because I know I can do it if I just focus and get down to it. So. This is my goal bucket for 2016 for Scentsy. I really suggest you do something like this or make a vision board where you paste pictures and write down phrases and words of things that you want to accomplish in your Scentsy business. It will help keep you motivated and um, have an idea of what you want to accomplish in the coming upcoming year. And I also want to wish everybody a happy new year um, with lots of blessings. I hope 2016 is the best year for all of us, that we all grow financially, business-wise, spiritually, um, and with our friendships, and to become better people. And I just want to thank you all for being my Sensi customers and for watching my Sensi videos and just... Um, supporting me throughout the year. I can't wait to see what 2016 brings with Sensi. And if you would like to join my team or have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My information will be down below. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.